For this set of videos, what we've been looking at primarily are parabolas. Okay, so translating y is equal to x squared onto another parabola and describing that transformation. Now, in general, if you're dealing with a function of y is equal to f of x, so this means that we, when we're talking about y is equal to x cubed, or y is equal to x to the 4, or y is equal to sine x, or y is equal to tan x, or y is equal to uh, sine x plus 1 over cos x plus x to the 100, whatever, we can still translate that curve by a particular vector uh, using a very quick technique. So y is equal to f of x. So if y is equal to f of x is translated by a particular vector, so by the vector ab, for example, then the equation of the image is y is equal to f of x minus a plus b. Okay? So, in other words, if y is equal to x cubed is translated by the vector, let's say, um, 3 minus 2, then its image, the equation of its image, is y is equal to, well, we've got x minus a, so x minus 3, and that's what's cubed now, take away 2. Another example, uh, y is equal to sine x. Let's say that's translated by the vector minus 2, 8. Then the new equation, the equation of its image, is y is equal to sine of x plus 2 plus 8. In much the same way as if I had y is equal to x squared, and it is translated by the vector minus 3, uh, 7, or minus 3, minus 7, that would be y is equal to x plus 3 squared take away 7. So you can start to see that there is a pattern here, okay? And it is this pattern given by this sentence, effectively. So it doesn't matter that we were working with a parabola, so like y is equal to x squared. It doesn't matter that we're working with that shape. It works for any of these that I choose to work with. Now, you can extend this to much, much more complicated examples. Okay? Now, that uh, would be beyond the scope of core one, in this case. But I think it's always useful to know that if you look at the difference between y is equal to f of x and y is equal to f of x minus a plus b. So if we have y is equal to f of x, I'm going to rewrite that one. And then what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to take b from both sides. So I'm going to have y minus b is equal to f of x minus a. OK, so all I've done is I've rearranged this equation, taken b from both sides, and I've got these two now. So let's compare what's happened. We can see that the y has been replaced with y minus b, and the x has been replaced with x minus a. So if you're translating a function by the vector a, b, replace x with x minus a, and replace y with y minus b. So if I had um, 
some horrible looking function. So definitely beyond uh, the scope of this course of what we're doing here. But if I had something like y squared uh, plus 3 is equal to um, 1 over x um, take away 2x, and this was the curve that I was looking at, and I wanted to translate it by the vector, well, let's say uh, 4 minus 2. Then what I want to do is I want to replace all the x's with x minus 4 and replace all the y's with y plus 2. So I'm going to replace the y's with y plus 2. I'm going to get y plus 2 squared plus 3. And I'm going to replace the x's with x minus 4. 1 over x minus 4. Take away two lots of, sorry, x minus 4. And this would be the same curve, exactly the same shape, but translated four along in the x direction and two down the y direction. Okay? And that's how we can generalize translations beyond the scope of just this course, okay? But remember this, and this will get you as far as really you need to go.